in the second heat of the lightweight women's eight, followed uh, very quickly by Miami rowing. Those two boats taking a quick lead at, in the beginning of this race. Oakland pushing out a little bit. As you can see, the rest of the field there, Mount St. Joseph, Nutrier, Pittsford, everybody's right here. Oakland Strokes increasing their lead to almost a boat, link, boat length here in this first 500. Doing a very nice job. Followed closely by Mount St. Joseph, Nutrier, Miami Rowing, and out on the uh, very outside of the picture is Pittsford. Miami Rowing falling back a little bit, uh, as is Holy Names. The 500 meter mark, Oakland Strokes really pushing away from the rest of this field. Mount St. Joseph in second, and then Nutrier in third, followed Pittsford, Miami, and Holy Names. Breaking open water, o Oakland Strokes right there. And Mount St. Joseph, from the, the angle's a little deceptive here because again, it's very narrow up there and the camera launch is in lane seven, so we have to be very mindful of the, uh, the trailing crews not to wake them. So the angle is a little deceptive, but uh, there you can see second and third place, uh, Miami, Mount St. Uh, Mount St. Joseph, with Oakland Strokes way out front there dominating in this race. <laughs> Oakland, Mount St. Joseph, New Trier. Top three boats in the second semi of the women's light eight. Pittsford, you can see their bow over on the uh, far left-hand side, trying to get back into this Nutrier crew. Let's see if they can get up into that third-place position. Oakland Strokes out ahead in the second semifinal of the women's lightweight eight. Oakland Strokes with a good boat length lead over second place. Mount St. Joseph, Mount St. Joseph battling with New Trier as they cross the 1,000 meter mark in this 2,000 meter race halfway there. Oakland Strokes in the lead. Mount St. Joseph has about four seats on New Trier. New Trier has about a quarter of a boat length on Pittsford. Miami rowing in fifth place right now and lagging a little bit behind Holy Names in lane six. Oakland Strokes though very handily ahead in this women's lightweight eight, semifinal two. It's been a warm day here at Melton Hill Lake in Oak Ridge, Tennessee, as the afternoon wears on and a little bit of a nice cool breeze blowing up. Lots of excitement with the big boats, the semifinals, setting up the races for tomorrow. Thanks again to Space Saver Rowing Systems, to Rower's Edge, and the Rowing Repair Center. U.S. Rowing Youth National Championship sponsors for 2011. New Trier beginning to walk up a little bit on Mount St. Joseph as Oakland Strokes maintains their lead in the women's lightweight eight. That's the one, two, three. Oakland Strokes, Mount St. Joseph, and New Trier. In fourth right now, Pittsford over in lane one. But the real fight is for second and third right here. The bright orange of Oakland Strokes in the lead, open water between their boat and the second place boat. A Mount St. Joseph, that brilliant purple, the purple oars, heading towards the 1500 meter mark. Oakland Strokes has now opened up even more of a lead, almost a full boat length of open water between Oakland Strokes and the second place Mount St. Joseph. New Trier beginning to walk up on Mount St. Joseph. They are gaining about a seat a stroke. So now three seats behind at the 1500 meter mark and moving. Still in fourth place, trying to maintain touch with the lead is the boat from Pittsford now crossing the 1500 meter mark. And behind them in fifth and sixth place, it's Holy Names and Miami Rowing. But the Oakland Strokes boat, well ahead, open water, New Trier coming up, almost bow to bow as the women's lightweight eight semifinal two 
Comes down to the last 250 meters. It's Oakland Strokes in the lead. Mount St. Joseph in second, fighting for second. The Crossing the last 250 meters, New Trier beginning to flag just a bit. Oakland Strokes dominating this field here, and as we heard the battle between um, Mount St. Joseph's and New Trier for that third place spot, but these three crews, open water ahead of everybody else, and barring any incident, we'll be heading off to the A final for the lightweight women's eight. Oakland, which dominated the first half of the race, hasn't really moved out a whole lot in the second half. Don't know if that's tactical. They just have to maintain their lead. They just sit on the top of these two crews. But here you can see Nutrier, they're putting their hammer to, uh, to Mount St. Joseph's. So we have, across the line in first, Oakland, second place. Nutrier, Mount St. Joseph's. Nutrier coming from following Mount St. Joseph's the entire race to finishing just a little bit ahead of them. Pittsford across the line and now panning back to Holy Names. I'm sorry, my, uh, Miami Rowing. In fifth place. And Holy Names. A few strokes from the finish going to the B final. So Oakland Strokes, Nutrier, Mount St. Joseph going to the A final tomorrow for the lightweight women's eight. And the next race on the course, uh, already 500 meters in as you can see, is the women's four. St. Andrew in lane one, Greenwich Academy lane two, Pittsford lane three, Cincinnati Junior lane four, Mile High lane five, and Oregon.